Hello YouTube! Today we're going to be learning how to access ILO3 which is currently not supported by Chrome. So if we go into a Chrome guest tab here um, and I search up my server and obviously security certificate um, and this server is running on ILO 3 so um, newer ILOs may uh, support this Chrome version I'm not 100% sure but if I log in with my credentials here we are in so usually what you do is you either um, track this .net or any of these remote consoles to get into your server and remote manage your server. So if I hit this, it does absolutely nothing. If I hit Java Web Start, it prompts me to download this file. And the problem with this is this is completely unreliable. Even though it will sometimes work from Chrome, it rarely does in my uh, in my experience, it just has a lot of these no pointer exceptions. The first time it might work, but the next time, you don't know. So, as of lack of a finding a reliable method or any kind of documentation or software from HP, um, this Java applet also does nothing because of security issues. So if I just look up Internet Explorer, um, and move to my uh, server and I log in like I would in Chrome this is a very reliable way to remotely manage your server so I'm into my server and what we want to look for is this integrated remote console tab and then, or you can click remote console and click this remote console button. But what you do is you can um, look at this net framework detection. Now, if we look on Chrome and go there, it says absolutely nothing and you don't know. And this is the main problem. This console was made many years ago, so it makes sense that since it has no more support, it wouldn't work. But if we look in uh, Explorer, we see this version required and it has status is okay. And since Explorer is no longer maintained, this is a very reliable way to access your server. It's not going anywhere. The only other way that I know of is to use this HP ILO mobile app. But sometimes you, want, you don't want to access it from the app and frankly, their app isn't very good anyway. So if I just launch this, it should uh, bring up my server here. And that's it. And this has a bit of mouse lag. That's one problem. But usually, if you're remote managing a system, once you've got all the installation type stuff done, you just uh, pop over to SSH, VNC, or RDP. Um, and this includes power switches. Key, uh, keyboard shortcuts and um, you can always uh, like load an image from your computer if you are managing the server from outside your internal network. Um, note that these uh, buttons here, they record remote console sessions which can be very useful in the future with determining exactly what you did to your server and also if something goes wrong. And these are just health LEDs, power LEDs, and this does use encryption. Although it's likely outdated and insecure for real uh, commercial practices, but uh, why would you be using a many year old ILO for a commercial practice anyway? But for people who wanna know that, there it is. So use Internet Explorer and just launch it from here. You can close Internet Explorer now and you should be good to go, except for this mouse lag. I, I've looked in the HP community forums and stuff, and I couldn't find a way to fix this. So I would just recommend getting on uh, RDP or VNC, SSH, uh, 
at your first convenience. So thank you for watching and bye.